it's raining not nice but we didn't have a good time we're on our way back home now and um, yeah had a good time took a look at the exhibitors yada 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 and um, Ruth <laughs> Uh, I actually had fun. I enjoyed you had myself. fun, right? Hello. Yeah. Yes, I enjoyed you did. myself. I saw different you products I've not seen oh, in really? a long time. And those I've never even seen before in Nigeria. Uh -huh. International products. Some look very interesting. As in, when I say interesting, I mean stomach interesting. <laughs> So if you came here, then you probably know where this is. You're right. The venue of the Food and Beverage West Africa Exhibition for 2019, which held in Lagos, Nigeria from the 18th to the 20th of June. So that was my friend and colleague Angel. There was Ruth, a business reporter and colleague as well, and Shola, who does camera work. We all decided to come and have a look around and surely we saw plenty. So the Food and Beverage West Africa is an annual showcase of more than 120 international and local food and beverage companies exhibiting their goods and services to over 4,000 attendees. Well, we went there more out of curiosity than anything else. Plus, it was good content. It was exactly what it said it was, an exhibition which brought together manufacturers as well as local importers, distributors, retailers and so on. Reports have it that over a third of the exhibitors were actually from Nigeria, while over 20 countries were represented with countries like Bene, Morocco, South Africa and Kenya among the participating African countries. We saw a lot and in some instances the manufacturers had very special presentations with their products. That was fun. This is my first time of being uh, in this fair, food and beverages uh, stuff, but uh, I'm very much impressed anyway. I enjoyed it. I bought some things. Uh. Like um, if you're an investor, you're a businessman, you're not here, you're missing. Because there's a lot of business opportunities right here. Like seriously. And one thing I discovered is that I, I saw that some of the companies are even looking for investors. They're looking for um, distributors over here in Nigeria. And you guys actually put up something great. And everything is, is just cool. Let me just put it like that. It's fine. It's nice. They need to improve more by having POS. I know it's an exhibition stuff. But since you have this opportunity or uh, you have, there are some of them that want, you know, that people, things that people need to buy. So at least they must make provision for POS machine. You know, we don't carry cash again. You know, so that is the only thing I, I feel uh, they need to improve upon. We had tremendous fun. I had tremendous fun here at the Food and Beverage West Africa exhibition. There was lots to see. So many amazing products from manufacturers in Africa and even outside of Africa that we saw. Lots of products, um, I mean foods, there were um, dairy products, teas, and in some cases we even saw products that were not exactly food, right? But the point is that so much is going on on the continent and I think it's something that should be encouraged. Um, a lot of the exhibitors we spoke to that talked to us about their products and um, how they are improving on what they are doing already. Um, we saw a lot of demonstrations, we tasted a lot of food, <laughs> we did, but um, overall it was, it was a good outing, a good experience and um, yeah, hope to be back again here soon just to see what more Africa
Africa is bringing to the table in terms of food manufacturing and production. Well, it was an eventful day and if nothing else, the food and beverage West Africa is a great way to show new and improved food and drink products and ultimately strengthen the industry on the continent and of course beyond. Well, it's time for us to go. We had our fill looking around, seeing what's going on. And um, it's, a, it's a thumbs up, thumbs up, food and beverage, West Africa. It was a great showcase. <laughs> I know, right? How did you feel looking at all that food and not being able to eat any? <sighs> not nice, that right? Was, that's what they call injustice. <laughs> Angel, how are you doing? I hope I'm you're better. Ready. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I look better. You, uh, you do, you definitely look better. I, I mean, just want to feel better. If you saw her in the morning, <laughs> well, I think she looks a, a lot brighter now. now. Yes. I just want to eat something hot. Pepper is called, I just bought it from the exhibition. It's called of father rice with, um, father rice with, of father sauce, of course. Sounds but very But this one pepperish. is specifically inside a leaf. You know what we call it in yes. Yoruba? So, Ewe. Uh -huh, very traditional. So that's what we're you going to eat. You guys are not eat. being fair to me right now. Okay, Zoe is not a pepper. Because you know, I don't, I don't do spicy things. Oh, sorry. Okay.